Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's video I'm gonna be showing you how to make this beautiful seed bead bracelet. It's really easy to make, I will show you step by step. I'm making it only out of seed beads so everybody could do it. So if you like what I'm showing you here, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button to be notified for my new absolutely free upcoming videos. And this way you will see my next tutorial that I'm going to be showing you how to make matching earrings to this bracelet and you will be able to make it. And you could also like, share and comment and I promise I'll answer to all of your questions in the comment and in this way you really help me so much. You could also check my new merch store and you could find their mugs, hoodies, t-shirts, pillows and so many other stuff and you could make beautiful presents for your bidding friends or for yourself and the designs are made especially from me for you and in this way you support me, my mission and my cause. You could find, find links to my store at the eye icon and down there in description. So now let me stop talking and start with the list of the material. Okay guys, so for this bracelet what you need are really simple stuff. You need two colors of 11 ounce seed beads and you need a clasp, lobster's claw clasp and a jump ring. And here I'm using beading thread. This is Nemo beading thread that is 0.006 inches or 0.15 millimeters which is size O. And here I'm using size 10 beading needle, scissors and sometimes I'm using my pliers to help my needle go through some beads but this is not obligatory. Okay and now I'm going to take about two feet of thread on my needle and I'll be back. And two feet is 60 centimeters and now I'm going to start by taking 12 of these beautiful silver beads. Okay, and I have my 12 here. And I'm going to slide them down. I will stick my needle in my mat and here I'm going to make a knot. And I'm making a knot by making a, a loop and going twice through the loop I've made. And I'm going to pull, okay, and I will go through some beads in this direction. Making a beautiful circle. Okay, and what I'm going to do here is take two seed beads, okay. Then I will go back through these two beads, like that. Okay. And here I have something like a ladder stitch. Okay. Then I'm going to the following two beads. Taking two more seed beads. And going here through these two beads. You see what I have here. Then going through the next two, taking two and going back in circle through the same two that I've just been through. Okay. And I'm going to do this three more times. Okay guys, and now this is what I have. And what I'm going to do next is go through this seed bead here. And I'm going to take one black bead. And I'm going here through this bead and pulling. And I'm going to take one more black bead going here through the following silver 
and you know it's easier for me to flip my work because I'm right-handed and in this direction it's easier for me that is why I'm flipping it okay and I'm taking one more seed bit going through here one more and one again And I'm going to continue this until the end of this row. Okay guys, and now I'm going out of this black bead. And what I need are three more black beads going back in circle through this same one. Then I'm going to the silver and I want to exit out of my next black bead and here I need two silver beads and I'm going back in circle through this black one here. Then what I need to do is go through the silver and exit out of my next black one and I need three more black beads and I'm going out of my next black one two silvers go through here back through the black one go through the following black and add three blacks more going through here and what I do is that I exit again here through the black one and now I'm going to continue this until the end of this row Okay, now I finish this row and I need one more row to finish this element. So here I'm going through this black one and I will make additional thread part to make my element looks finished. Okay, then I'm going through these next two black beads and through the silver. Here I need one silver go through the silver then through this black one then go through these two black beads and through the following silver one silver go here And like that and I'm going to continue doing this until the end of this row
Okay guys, and now I'm going to show you how to make some knots and cut your thread. Okay, here I'm between those two beads, making a loop, going twice through the loop I've made, and I'm pulling. And I will repeat this several more times. And when I'm ready, I will go through my next seed bead after the last knot I, that I'm doing. I will cut my thread and I will also cut my tail thread. And I have my element ready. I will do more and more of those elements and I'll be back to show you how to connect them in a bracelet. Okay guys, and now I took four feet of thread on my needle it i think it should be enough four feet of thread which is 1.2 meters and now i will take one of my elements i will go through some beads here through one bead here and i'm going to make a knot here okay and i'm making a loop going once going second time through the loop I've made and I'm pulling then I'm going through some beads in this direction going out of this silver bead Taking two silvers, taking my clasp, sliding it down, then taking two more silvers, going here through the silver bead and pulling, okay, just like that. Then I'm going to reinforce here this joint to make my clasp stay fit and secure you see how cool it looks now it's time to like and share if you enjoy my tutorial just to remind you that in this way you help me so much and if you have comments, share them. Okay, now, what I want to do is reach the opposite part of my element because I want to attach my next element here. And I think the shortest way is here through the middle of my work, but if your thread have been so many times through it you might have troubles so go where you prefer where you feel your thread could easily go okay and here I'm going through this silver bead, then I will take my next element and I want to connect them like that. You could use silver or black beads for this one here and here I prefer to use black beads, okay? I'm taking one black bead and what I do is that I go through this silver here, pulling taking one more black bead going through this silver you see what I have here something like a loop and what I do is that I pull and here I will turn this in this direction because it will be easier for me to connect this Okay, 
now I, I think this joint is secure and I will go through all of my beads. I will reach here with my thread and in the same way that I show you I will connect my next element and I will continue doing this until the end of this bracelet and when I'm ready I'll be back to show you how I'm finishing it. Okay guys and now you see what I have. I attached all of those elements in a bracelet. Okay. And now I'm going to show you how to attach your jump ring. And I will attach my jump ring the same way I attached my clasp, okay? I'm taking two seed beads, my jump ring, and then again two seed beads, okay? And now I'm going to go back in circle through this seed bead here. And I'm going to reinforce this, make some knots and cut my thread and I'll be back. Okay guys, and now my bracelet is ready. I connected all of those elements. So if you like what I'm showing you here and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button because if you hit it, you will see uh, another tutorial that I'm going to show you how to make earrings matching this bracelet and uh, you could also like share and comment and you don't know how much you helped me with this and if you make beautiful jewelries following my tutorials please share them on my facebook page that i posted below i will be so happy to see your creations and you could also check my merch store and with buying stuff from there max hoodies t-shirts and phone covers uh, you really support me my channel and my mission. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye from me.